So let's go ahead and bring up your router. Um, I have DDWRT on my router. And under Setup Advanced Routing, we can add static routes, static routing. And we're going to call that 2GNS3. As you can see, I've done this before. <laughs> 192.168.17.0 is going to be the LAN that we want to get to with 255. 255. 255. 255. 255. And the gateway is actually going to be 192.168.192.16. 192 one dot two hundred. I'm going to go ahead and apply. All right, looks like that took it. And once we try to ping one dot one, you'll notice that we are now able to ping one dot one. And that was the missing link there. And if we go ahead, just for the heck of it, we'll see if we can ping 17.12, actually. And we're going to run the commands. And there we go. We have replies. Great. So, and to be... And to test that out, we are going to turn off caps lock. And Google. There we go. We have an internet connection. And we have the ability. Oh, it's downloading right now. Download updates. Lucky us. Alright. And that's the basic tutorial on how to connect um, VirtualBox clients uh, to your router and then connect your entire GNS3 network out to the internet itself. On a side note, if you are just trying to connect to the local machine and not to the internet itself, you're going to have to actually edit the routing table within um, the computer itself. What I've done is I've changed this to the 19.201 and you'll notice that I took off the bridge and once we have two separate connections we can go ahead and since the internal loop is connected directly to the local machine we're just gonna have to set up routing because currently with two default gateways when you set this up you'll set this up with a default gateway of 19.200 and an IP address of 201 and when you do that it will actually say warning multiple default gateways are intended to provide redundancy to a single network um, Unfortunately, with this one, it's not going to work until you tell it where to route what. Because um, when you try and ping it from your local machine right now, ping 192.168.17.2, it doesn't know where to send that data. Uh, so it ends up uh, trying to send it to 1.1, which uh, does not know where to go. Well, technically, it thinks it knows where to go, 200. But unfortunately, <clears throat> it can't reach that since there's no longer a bridge connection. So, what you need to do is um, route print shows all your current routes that you have on the machine. And you're going to go ahead and add another one. <clears throat> route add and destination subnet is 192.168.17.0 mask 255.255.255.0 .255 and the gateway is going to be 192.168.19.200 and it should say OK, and if you did a route print, it would show it in the network table again. Now if we do a whoop ping 192.168.17.2, it can go ahead and find that, which is a pretty simple way to connect. So if we do a ping 192.168.19.201, we can ping there, so we can reach the local machine. And that's helpful for a lot of different things, especially since you don't, if you want a large network, but you don't want to tons of virtual machines, you can just connect to your local machine and add that as one.